What up, what up? It's Troy. I want to break down something for you today, something that's close, near, and dear to my heart, something that means so much because quite literally, I believe that fitness at one point saved my life. I want to show you a little bit about that, and I'm going to teach you how you can start to get in the best shape of your life and how you can do it easily, quickly, and abundantly, baby. I want to show you where I'm coming from with this. I was a personal trainer for well over a decade, coached well over 10,000 hours working with people in the trenches. In fact, helping people lose weight became easy. It's what helped me transition into the career that I do now, and also, I spoke at industry events. I was run up for personal training the year before. I owned my own chain of gyms, all of it. I was very, very deep in that industry. So I want to show you through some of those insights. Before I do that, I want to take you back in time a little bit. I want to talk about Troy when he was 18 years old. I graduate high school, I head off to college, and there I go. But what I quickly found out is as a young man, you don't offer a lot of value to the world yet because I don't have a lot of experience. So as far as making money, there's not a lot that I could do. I don't have a lot of experience. I couldn't make a lot of money. And when it came to getting the girls that I liked, they're all dating guys that maybe their body was a little bit more mature or those guys were a little bit older and they already started to make money. I felt like I was at the bottom of the ladder. So luckily I joined a gym and I remember going to the gym and feeling like weak, scrawny. I didn't enjoy being there. I felt awkward, out of place. I literally felt like everyone just was looking at me like, dude, what is this guy doing? here? He doesn't belong. But luckily I stuck with it. I worked out. I started getting a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. My body started to develop a little bit more, started taking all the protein shakes, whatever it was and getting in better and better in shape. I actually really started to enjoy the gym. It became like a home base. So much so that I actually applied for a job to work at that gym. I get a job working at the front desk. But you know what? Your boy sucked working at the front desk. Imagine me trying to answer calls and help members. I couldn't do it. It was like too much. It wasn't my vibe. But luckily, the manager of the gym comes up to me. He's like, yo, you ever thought about being a personal trainer? I was like, nah, I haven't actually. He's like, I think you should, man. So he kind of encouraged me to do that. Before I knew it, I buy all the personal training material, study for the test. It took me a few times, but I passed that test. And the next thing you know, I'm training. And what was really cool about that is now I'm getting some respect from my peers. The people I'm working with are listening to me. I'm adding value. It feels good. I'm getting paid a little bit better. Like I got a little bit more control over my schedule at the time. Very, very cool. And my clients all made decent money. A lot of more business owners. And so I had the opportunity to talk to them about, yo, what do you do this? Or how do you do that? I started getting very interested in opening my own business. And the next thing you know, I transitioned to opening my own gym. And I poured myself in the industry. And it really helped propel my life in a beautiful direction. So I owe so much to working out in the gym. Before I got to the highs in life, I had to start at the bottom, baby. It's always the white belt journey. I had to start at the bottom. I didn't know what I was doing. I felt uncomfortable in the gym. And I started that slow, gradual process. But over time, I learned a lot of valuable tools that helped me literally become one of the best trainers in the entire world. Let's just look at this a little bit. I wrote some stuff here, man. If you want your money game to go up, your relationship game to go up, you got to get in good shape. And what I want you to understand, I'm going to tie all this into a concept called ROI, return on investment. The things you invest into ideally should give you a return. But the cool thing about your health, your fitness, is when you invest into it, you will get a return. There's not a lot of things that you can get guaranteed, guaranteed returns on, but your health, your fitness, your body, your energy is absolutely one of those. So when you don't do that, when you're not investing in yourself, life's going to suck a little bit more because you got low energy, you got low self-esteem, low confidence. You're probably less likely to go up and talk to the girl or the guy, less experiences in life. Like you're going to get invited to shit that you can't do. Like one of the things I really value about being in shape for me is you can find me at night or on the weekends throwing the ball with my kids or out going for a hike. If you say, yo, let's go shoot hoops this weekend. I'm there. Let's play some fucking pickleball, some tennis. I don't even play tennis, but I'll be there. You know what I mean? Like I can show up to those events because I take care of my body. I stay in shape. And so I want you to not miss those opportunities when they come up because it's really fun to get out, connect with the homies. Maybe someday you're going to have kids or maybe you already have kids. Like be able to do experiences with them. Go out in nature, go for hikes, go river rafting, whatever it might be. You're going to get more enjoyment out of life if you're in better shape. Again, it's something that you can control. If you're struggling with control, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in detail in a second. So don't worry. I got you. But look, like overall, you're going to get less results in life. Again, your brain just won't be as sharp. You won't have as much energy. You're going to get tired throughout the day. And so if we're thinking about our ROI, you're not getting as good of a return on your investment as you potentially could. And I don't know about you, but I don't have the luxury in life to not be a peak performer. Like I don't have like some golden check that was just handed to me or some beautiful, easy life. Like I got to create that shit. I got responsibilities. I got things that I have to show up for and I got to have my energy to do it. And so your energy is the number one resource. Like you could have time, but if you don't have energy with that time, you really don't have a lot, do you? So you got to have energy to put into those times. What I want you to really do is think of this like your body 
your brain, your mind, your fitness as your business. Like that's the first business you should learn to understand. Maybe you have your own dreams about starting a business someday. Your body, your health, your fitness is your first business. That's the first thing you're going to learn to understand and master over time. Like if you can show discipline in that area, then you can move on to the next step of creating a business. So I want you to think of yourself as a business that you are investing in. I don't even see food. I see right through it and I see the energy behind it. I don't know. I see a fucking corn dog. Like I don't even see the corn dog. I just see like that shit is going to put my ass to sleep. I ain't eating that because full of grease, oil, seed oils, all that crap, right? Then I look at something else. I'm like, oh, here's some grass-fed beef or a smoothie I can make. I look at the energy of that. I'm like, yes, sir, that's what I want. Here's a little saying that might help you out. If the sun don't feed it. So if the sun does not feed that thing and make it grow, don't eat it. So a bag of chips, the sun don't feed that, homie. But the sun does feed the cow, the grass-fed beef, the, the fruits, whatever it might be. So that's kind of how I want you to start thinking. So what I want you to do is really move into this area of crushing it in life. Again, this is your first business. You need to get an RRI from this business. You are the first business that you will ever manage and own and operate. So the first thing that happens is your brain turns on more. Like quite literally, you think more clearly because you're not inflamed. When you're eating food that is unhealthy for you, it is toxic. And those toxins create inflammation within the body. So your joints get sore. Your skin gets a little puffy. You age faster. Your cells are getting damaged faster. And your brain gets foggy. And so you're not optimized. And so you can't fully function. And so when you clean up your food, when you learn to avoid inflammation, which I'll help you with, right, then your brain clicks on a little bit more. You're sharper. You're more clear. You're getting better ROIs. You're not missing those opportunity costs. The second thing that will happen is you're going to have better and more sex because you're going to be able to meet people more easy because you're going to be a little more confident. And it just feels good when you're in shape. You're not getting tired. You're enjoying your body, their body, the connection. That feels a lot better. So you'll enjoy it even more. Remember earlier I talked about you're going to miss out on opportunities in life when you're not in shape. Well, guess what? When you get in shape, there will be more opportunities. One is just think of it. I don't like I don't know the statistics on this. Right. But I would assume when you see somebody that's in shape, it's like your mind just goes, oh, they understand discipline. They understand consistency and it kind of moves them to the next level. And so if you're looking to make more money, that's one way that you'll do it. Again, when your brain turns on, you're thinking more clearly, more sharply. And again, you have more energy. So if someone's like, yo, let's go out and go to this networking event. Or let's go meet these people. You're going to have more energy to do that. And sometimes it just takes that one connection to quite literally change your life. And then especially for the men out there, you already know, man, life throws challenges as your way. And you got to have like the internal fortitude to get through, through those things. And when you're in better shape, you're already doing difficult things. Like you're bringing that into your life. And you're like, yo, I'm going to work right through this. And so then when life hits you with its own with its own challenges, then you can bust through that shit as well. It's easier for you to do that. And when you move through those difficult seasons, guess what? On the other side, there's always something beautiful waiting for you. It's going to teach you those key attributes of discipline and consistency. And let me break this down just a little bit more. Like for you really to move into this, right, to start getting the results in this area, you have to understand the foundations. The two key foundations that you must start with, like you got to get these dialed down before you even look to anything else, before you start watching videos about how to do this or how to do that. You got to dial these two things in. It's your nutrition and your sleep. Like if you're not sleeping well, you're not optimized. It's the little things, right? Like staying off your phone late at night, starting to dim the lights, getting up in the morning, going out and connecting to the sun. That sunlight then creates a drip of melatonin and it adds up throughout the day. And then at nighttime, it helps put you to bed. And so these little things can help you sleep better. If you're not sleeping, you ain't optimized. You already know what it feels like when you wake up in the morning. You're like, damn, man, I just don't have it today. Like, that's an opportunity cost. You don't want to miss out on that kind of shit. You want to wake up as much as possible or as often as possible. Like, yo, I'm ready to go. Let's rock and roll. So, again, if you're avoiding inflammation because you have your diet dialed down, then you won't be inflamed. You won't wake up groggy and kind of like stiff and sore and tight. Like you won't have that. There's no inflammation in your body. The first thing I'll teach you is to avoid inflammation. The second thing is I'll teach you how to add anti-inflammatories into your diet. And then you're like fucking rolling. You're dialed in. Then as you do this, you learn to be a winner and you quite literally get something called the winner effect. Like this is real. Look this shit up. When your body, when your mind thinks that you are winning in life, like you're doing well in life. So as you start to work out, you start to see a return. You start to get some results. Your body starts to take on a different shape. You start to believe that you are winning in life. That feels good. 
again, a lot of times, man, especially when you're younger, not everything is a controllable. Like a lot of stuff is out of your control. Like you don't have a lot of value you bring into the world, but the more things you lean into, you step into and your body being one of them, you start to get results. You start to feel better. Your brain clicks on, it thinks you're winning. And what happens is you actually get a natural increase of testosterone. You get more dopamine and more serotonin, all these natural reward systems. I call it the positive chemical cocktail that your body gives you. So you don't need nothing synthetic. You don't need the fake shit because you can get the real shit when you step into it. And you learn how to be a winner. And one of the simplest ways to do it is go work out. Like, yo, if you're, if you're facing some difficult times, go work out. Hit the gym. If you lose some money, go hit the gym. Girl breaks up with you, go hit the gym. Wake up in the morning, you're feeling a little down, go hit the gym. Like, the gym is always there for you. It's a solution. It doesn't mean you avoid stepping into those other things that you need to take care of. But the gym is there for you, homie. It's home base. Like, go step into it and use it. And then think about this quote from my man, Deion Sanders, Coach Prime. When you feel good, you play good. When you play good, you get paid good. So I want you to remember that. Like quite literally, when you wake up with that energy, you feel good, you're a little more confident. There's a bounce to your step. Like maybe you felt this before, maybe you haven't, but there's just something when you have that workout and you're a little bit sore, you wake up the next day, body's starting to heal up a little bit and there's a little bounce to your step. Like, yeah, let's go get it, man. I'm feeling it today. Let's go. I want you to feel that energy. Because remember, as a human, you are an energetic being. I want you to lock that in. Like you are an energetic being which means you can source energy. So you can source it from a bag of fucking potato chips or you can source it for some really good healthy food. You can get good quality sleep in a good bed, right? Or you can get shitty sleep while you're looking at your screens and all that shit before you go to bed and your brain kind of stays on. You don't get restful sleep. You can drink alcohol or you can stay sober. You can do all these different things, either source it good or source the bad. It's up to you. But that's going to create what you are and at least give yourself the advantage of getting better results. Nothing's going to be promised to you. The only thing that is promised is the process. The outcomes aren't always controllable, but what you can control is this effort, this focus you put into your health. And again, you're going to get better results. You're going to have more energy. You're going to feel a little more confident. You're going to make more connections, and that will lead to positive things in your life. So if you want to easily and quickly get in the best shape of your life, I want you to subscribe to the channel, and then I want you to comment the word yes. And what I'll do is I'll send you a free video that shows you how to do exactly that. I make these videos for you. I want to see you win, baby, because when you win, I win, they win, we all win. So make sure you do those two things, and I'll see you next time. Peace.